Hey, what's going on, folks? It's Larry here. Uh, let's get right to the point. I want to say something about the uh, the dog training tool ban up in Toronto and the and the comments. The comment that I made yesterday on Facebook. You know, I made a a very brief comment and and I was really blown away out out of the response to it. I woke up this morning and my phone was just just blown up man holy shit uh, if I ever regretted saying anything which I don't I say a lot of inappropriate things but don't get that kind of feedback you know and 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 I hate it I hate that this this happened but maybe maybe it's a good thing so let's let's talk about it I said something to the the effect of you know for for people who are scared about the band and losing their tools maybe you should you know look at your ability a little deeper something to that effect and um, I should have been more specific and and said a little more about it but it really ruffled a lot of feathers in the on the balance training side of dog training it went absolutely ape shit you know and, and a lot of people came at me pretty hard and it's okay when you put yourself out there that's that's going to happen you know um i get a lot of good feedback and sometimes you're going to get a lot of bad feedback but let me let's talk about it a little bit let me be more specific on where i stand with that as you guys know i'm a big believer in balance training if that's what you want to call it I don't but you know what I mean I use tools um, I'm a big e-collar user I've been very vocal in the support of e-collars for a very long time I use e-collars on every dog I train okay I don't use prong collars I'm not against them I made a video not that long ago just saying that because people believed I was against prong collars because I don't use them I don't I don't use choke chains I'm not against them you know I, I used one a year ago on a dog and I explained how I did what I did with it so I'm not against these tools guys I use slip leads I love slip collars these things are, are all big part of dog training because I don't use something doesn't mean I'm against them but let's look at ourselves here I've been saying this for a very, very long time, and I'm not the only one, all right? People want to hold on to their dog training tools, but there's a, a pretty large population of trainers on the so-called balance side that are, that are hurting us. They're hurting us, and they're making it very easy for these governments to come after us, okay? So for all the people that went after me pretty hard yesterday, I don't see you being vocal against the people that do a really bad job with these tools and make them look barbaric and make them look really bad all right so i get dogs here all the time that come from other trainers usually they will come here they either have a prong collar on or an e-collar or both and so I'll have the client say, let me see, let me see what you've done up to this point. Let me see what you did at the other trainer. And, and they'll start working the dog. The dog does nothing. And they're either yanking the shit out of the dog with the prong collar, you know, definitely causing some harm. Yes, you, you can't harm a, a dog with, with this tool if you try hard enough. Or they're lighting its ass up with the e-collar. See, that's a problem. That's a really big problem because you do have people out there misusing these tools and abusing these tools and making us all look very, very bad. And that's why I am so vocal about the e-collar stuff. I love my e-collars. It's the greatest dog training tool ever made. There's no doubt about it. But in 2017, it's still highly misused and abused. And so you make it very easy for the, the PETA-like fanatics to come after us. But I don't see a lot of, I don't see a lot of vocalization from our side out there going against these people, and and that's a problem, guys. If you want to hold on to these tools, you better change your ways. All right, it's like saying, oh, I hate racism. I'm not a racist, but you hang out with fucking racists. You can't do that. You have to police your own. You have to. And if we don't, we're going to lose these tools everywhere, everywhere because there is a lot of misuse going on, plain and simple. Now, my statement was definitely taken out of context, but it wasn't, it was my own fault for not being more specific, all right? What I was talking about was there are a lot of trainers out there who rely on tools 100%, okay? So every dog they get, some kind of tool goes on and they use it to train the dog. And I think a lot of these folks, if they didn't have any of these tools, there would be a problem. There's, there's no doubt about it. 
So I had people saying, you know, commenting, I'm um, self-righteous, you know, hypocrite, I'm on my high horse. And I, I can understand, I deserve that. I definitely deserve, but that wasn't my intention, guys, okay? Um, I had people commenting on videos, you use all these tools. No, I don't use all these tools. You will see me use an e-collar on every dog I train. But here's the thing, guys. I train these dogs without tools. Now, now, don't be a douchebag and say, well, a leash is a tool, a flat buckle collar is a tool. Don't, don't go there. Because the thing I hate most about what I said yesterday is I've created a lot of infighting within our own group. And that's not good. That's not good. We look like the jerk-offs in Washington that are killing each other. It's not, it's not good. We have to support each other. But at the same time, we got to police each other and, and hold the bad accountable. We just have to, all right? So when I train a dog, I don't, I train the dog pretty much with, with nothing, you know? I'm training a dog with, with motivation, with, with food, with toys, with a leash, you know? <laughs> Sometimes a flat buckle collar. But my point is, I'm not putting a prong collar on, on a dog and, and teaching it how to do things with it. And there's nothing wrong if that's what you're doing. That's not what I'm trying to say. But for you folks that have to have these tools, these tools to train a dog, you're not helping yourself and you're not helping the big cause. All right. I don't want people to lose their tools. It's funny. I had a lot of folks come after me, but I've been working with a lot of people in other countries that have already lost their tools or in the process of losing their tools. I didn't volunteer for that. I've been asked to. And so I say, yes, I'll do anything I can to help dog trainers. You know, I want everyone to hold on to their tools, but these are folks that are doing a good job and they're putting the good out there and they're eliminating the bad. And we have to start doing this here in the United States or we're going to suffer. You know, some of the comments I had yesterday were very accurate. I deserve them. But some of the other comments, like being very specific about the tools, you know, you can't train bite work without a corrective collar. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you are you kidding me? That's the type of shit that is going to hurt us. If you can't do bite work with a sport dog without a corrective collar, you're probably in the in the wrong industry. Now, those people are going to come after me again, but I don't really give a damn because when it's all said and done, guys, my the most important thing to me is is compassion for the dog, the well-being of the dog, the well-being of the animal. That's the most important thing to me plain and simple. So if you're against that, fuck it. I really don't care. You know, I do the best I can to train dogs at the highest level possible. And I train dogs from all aspects of the dog training world. But I'm a student of dog training and I'm always looking for the best ways to advance our industry for myself. You know, I'm not trying to be a voice for anyone, but apparently after yesterday, I think I better watch you know, I got to watch what I say, I guess. But, and, and, and there's someone who made a video yesterday, a YouTube video. He came out and he was, he was brutally harsh and very passionate. And you could tell he's talking about me in, in the video. And, uh, what I ask for people is please don't go after him. He did a good job with the video and he was dead on. And I commented on it and I said, you're right. You did a, you did a great job. I said, it wasn't my intentions for, you know, what he thinks I was trying to do, but he made a very good statement on, on YouTube and I won't use his name because I don't want people going after him because I feel like I created a lot of infighting within our own group and that's not what I wanted to do. We have to stick together. But let me tell you something, folks. We also have to police the bad. You know, some of the shit, the internet's a great thing. YouTube's a great thing. Lord knows I use it. You know, I, I use it plenty and I have a ton of support from you guys. But um, my whole point is we better start training without tools also. The tools are there to make things better and they definitely do. But when you're 100% reliant on tools, eventually it's going to bite you in the ass. All right. And for the folks who are still misusing and abusing those tools, it's going to hurt us all. You know, I'm an advocate for balanced dog trainers. It's important to me. It's really important to me, guys. I'm super passionate about it. You see my big ugly mug on, on, on videos and Facebook and YouTube constantly. And I don't stop preaching about it because it's really important to me, you know, but we've gotten to a point where it's more about marketing and look at me. I'm tremendous. Look how I fix this aggressive dog in five minutes. Well, guess what? You don't 
fix an aggressive dog in five fucking minutes. It takes a little bit of work, okay? So suppressing some kind of behavior with a prong collar, it's not helping our side. You're giving the other side a lot of ammunition. And, and you know, that's that's not a good thing. And I sh I'm sure I said something in this video that's going to offend some people, and, it, and it's not my intention. But guys, come on here, you know, we, we have to do a better job at protecting these tools. And the only way we could do that is by policing the bad, all right? You can't stand by and, and support someone who misuses any, any dog training tool and is causing any kind of harm to the animal. Even if in reality, maybe it's not harming the animal, but it appears to see, uh, it appears to be, that's all that matters, guys, because you know what the other side can do when you see some of these videos. You know what you, you know what it could be. It's being done all over the world in other countries. E-collars are banned in, in several countries now, and it's coming here. It's going to come here because people have ammunition. So for all the people that I offended highly yesterday, my apologies. It wasn't my intention, you know. Um, for the people who asked me to take the comment down, no, I'm not going to take it down. That would be hypocritical, you know. I should have been more specific and elaborated a little more on, on what I meant. You guys know me. You know, I'm all for balanced training. I support dog training tools, but always the most important part for me is going to be compassion for the animal, plain and simple, you know, and uh, hopefully it makes people elevate the level of, of training. I don't think I'm any better than anyone else. That that wasn't my intention. That's that's not my point. You know, there are a lot of other trainers that, that said what I said too in one way or the other, and they didn't get the the backlash. So I'm kind of surprised. May, I don't know if I have a, a, a big voice in the industry or what. I don't know why if I do. But that's that wasn't my intention. So to, to wrap it all up, let's put it this way. Dog training tools are important. I don't think it's right that anyone bans anything. Um, we have to police ourselves and we have to do a better job and put the animal first. If not, we're going to suffer. We're going to lose. And for all the people that threw a shit fit you know, I, I shouldn't say it, but, but, you know, maybe we just have to do a better job, guys, you know, and we all do have to be able to train a dog with, with a leash and a flat buckle collar. You have to, if you can't do a good job there, you know, people said, well, you know, what I, a trainer that I respect a great deal. He's a great trainer. He made a great point. He was, he was very respectful to me. And he said, you know, Larry, you could, you could train a dog without tools you know, you do great work, but what about your clients? And that was a great point. So thank you, Mike. That was a really good point. He was right. It made me think like, yeah, I never thought about that. Um, but the more I thought about it, guys, here's the deal. Um, my training would change if they took away all training tools, all dog training tools, but it would only change in one way. My clients would not be able to achieve that off-leash freedom with their dogs that they normally do, or at least not in the same amount of time, and some may never. So that's where tools come into play for, for what I do and what I do with my clients. Yes, I, I wouldn't be able to provide that off-leash freedom in such a short amount of time if they took away e-collars. You know, if they banned prong collars and choke chains, it wouldn't it wouldn't affect me because I, I don't use them. But again, I'm not against them. They're great tools. But we I think we have to to broaden our horizons a little bit and uh, start sticking together. My biggest regret is that I cause a lot of infighting within our own side. And I don't want to do that. So please, for the people who made nasty comments about me, don't go after them don't. They had every right to. I opened my mouth and I ruffled a lot of feathers. And most people, the negative comments towards me, they were accurate. It was good. But it wasn't my intention, guys. That wasn't, believe me, I'm on your side. I'm on, I'm on the same side and we all have to stick together, but we have to police the bad. So you see someone misusing these tools, remember this. Remember this ban up in Toronto. Remember the ban and places in Europe of the e-collars and, and different tools because it's important, all right? So let's see what kind of feedback I get from this. Hopefully we can move on and work together. Compassion for the animal, number one. Let's stick together and keep, uh, let's keep making training better and not give anybody a reason to come after us. All right, guys, peace.